couple of weeks ago, the Kittery School Committee voted to do away with two school resource officer positions. But tomorrow, it's going to revisit the issue and likely take another vote. Well, why? New Center means Jackie Mundry is in Kittery tonight to fill us in. Jackie? Pat, in a word, pushback. Parents in the community really want to see this school resource officer position here at Trape Academy and the other schools in town. But there are also parents and students who don't want officers in the halls because they say it's a bad message and they are standing firm. There is a serious issue in America with policing and the presence of a police officer in an environment where students are expected to learn is very problematic. Betty Stevens went to Trape Academy for three years. She still lives in Kittery and she's part of a group that is speaking out about having an officer in the schools. So is Erica Jibo, a mom and a professor of criminology at Suffolk University in Boston. She says resource officers do not reduce violent crime. Um, they don't reduce minor infractions and they don't reduce drug use, but they do increase suspensions and expulsions. Since the initial vote to remove the officer, a big push from community members who believe the position is important. The response has been overwhelming. That's Angela Scanlon. She says it's not only her group against the decision to eliminate the SRO, but also how the vote happened. It's been very quick and rapid and uh, with very little overall town input. Since the vote, she says she's heard from many people who had no idea it happened. Because I think once you see you know, local decisions being made without community involvement, people start to get concerned. Also caught in the middle, some students who wish their voices had been heard too. No one talked to us, it was just the adults who decided, which I don't think that's fair. But not all students are in favor of the position either. Erica Vargas says her son is in support of removing the position. My family and I have felt very uncomfortable um, being out because of these signs. So once again, the issue of whether to keep police officers in Kittery schools is up for debate, with both sides saying, for better or for worse, how students react to the presence should be taken into account. So that conversation will continue tomorrow night here in Kittery. They will be able to um, you know, revisit it. And the superintendent, Eric Waddell, he was unavailable to speak to us on camera today, but he says that the district will look into a three-year three uh, deal with the Kittery Police Department, and that includes for this coming school year. Pat.